So we're back. That we're back live. Well, not live. It's going to be recorded, but uh, we're back here for the IF game. 2017 SSA Las Vegas Big Ball Tournament. Ronnie Matriciano, board member for the SSA, started this event two years ago. Very popular. Teams really enjoy being here in Las Vegas. And Little B swings. And you can see they got the four outfielders, so Little B just punched it to an open hole. And he leads off the game with a base hit. Again, we'll see... Uh, March seems to have got their hitting shoes back after struggling for a couple of games. And again, sometimes with the heat and during the day, March has got some older players, so sometimes physically you don't feel good until that sun goes down and it cools off a little bit. But they look pretty sharp right now. But this is for the championship, so... Big top of the first here for Budweiser, Sonoma, Nissan. You really don't want to fall behind after you gave up uh, as many runs as they did in that last game. So March right now looking uh, very loose. They're free swinging a little bit. Jeff Hernandez, who just turned 50, jogging around, trying to get himself loose here. It's cooled off a lot from what it was uh, today. It's very pleasant, but if you've been playing all day, uh, when we got out here, first game was 8.30, and it was a little breezy, and it was uh, actually pretty cool. Um, and then it heated up during the day, and now it's cooled off. Again, if you've never been to Vegas at this time of the year, they do get into the 90s during the day or low or mid to upper 80s, 90s, and then it does drop down to... 70, 68, you know, 67 at night. So for the guys in Chicago who aren't used to it, it, it can wear on you a little bit. Here's Mike Manzella. So Little B's at first. Angelo Alicia is at first. Excuse me, Little B's at third. Nobody out here. And Mike Manzella. Pitcher grabs a strike. Looked like he was behind in the count. Mike just kind of stood there and took the pitch. And there's a fly ball to short left. He makes the play. He throws the ball into second. Again, with a kid like Little B, you're not throwing him out. So you did the right thing for you kids out there. You don't really want to be throwing the ball around crazy. If he tried to get Little B, he wasn't going to get him anyway, and Angelo would have tagged and went to second. So... It's all about making teams string hits together to beat you. You don't want to throw to the wrong base and let a, a runner or a batter take an extra base where a single can score them instead of two. There's a line drive just over the first baseman. Angelo's still running good. He gets the third. That was Nate Mercado throwing the ball down the line. Now Anthony Avila started the last game. He's back in there this game, and he's... Coming up now, first and third, one to nothing. Top of the first, championship game. And there's a ball hit right through the hole by Anthony. Again, that's an example of you don't have a short center, the hole is so big, and Anthony hits the ball right through. He's got great back control, two to nothing, March, top of the first. Again, when they had the big lead, they were free swinging and they were driving the ball. Now, new game, top of the first, you can see they've already hit a couple of balls uh, through the open infield. Again, when you come to a tournament, I believe Budweiser had, according to their lineup card, they had 10 players in the lineup and two on the bench. So that makes it awful hard. Israel Sanchez hits the ball to third. Nice play. Oh, nice play by the third baseman to snag it. He threw a long one hopper. Looked like the ball might have had some spin or kicked on the first baseman. He couldn't make the play. So Anthony gets the third there.
and I believe it's three to nothing, March, because Anthony or uh, Nate Mercado scored, and here comes Denny Lawler. So for a lot of you that have gone to SSA broadcasts and seen our videos, you're probably begging to get George Bliss back here on the microphone. And trust me, me too. George, wherever you are, I wish you were here. So now there's a runner here. It looks like the Denny Lawler is up. And he hits a long fly ball. That should be an out. And that'll do it. So we'll go to the bottom of the first. March jumps ahead. Uh, three or four. We'll get the score for you, and we'll be back shortly. Okay, folks, bottom of the first championship game out here in Las Vegas for the big ball tournament. SSA Las Vegas of Las Vegas .com. If you want to get a hold of Ron Matriciano and see if there's any openings for the event next year, we're at Warm Springs Park uh, here in Vegas. So Budweiser down three. Uh, last game when March jumped ahead on them, they, they didn't respond. They tried to come back late, just didn't have anything. And here's their leadoff guy, 27. Again, for those of you who are watching the if game uh, and maybe didn't listen to the first game, I uh, just want to let you know that uh, we're having microphone issues, so I'm kind of unable to uh, have my lineup card. So for you Budweiser, Sonoma, Nissan fans, I apologize. And there's a hard line drive, and Little B can't get to it. Little B committed. He came in real hard. He didn't make the catch. The ball goes to the screen and 27. Leads off the bottom of the first with a triple. So that's the second ball we've seen a center fielder come in on and not make a play. I don't know if the lights behind home had it because he put his, put his glove out there and didn't make the play. So brings up number 30. These two kids at the top of the lineup have been doing some damage for this team. And he hits the ball far down the left field line foul, so they're going to go get the other ball here. Both teams seem like they're having a good time in between when they were doing the coin toss. They were both kind of laughing and joking with each other. Man on third, nobody out. You play a team like March, they have so many hitters. At this point in the game, you're really trying to string an inning together. You really don't want to give up an out because March doesn't look like they're going to stop hitting. So ground ball up the middle. Jibs, Jeff Hernandez, snagged it with the glove. He looked the runner back and threw over to first. And that'll bring up number 19. So now at this point, after the, the second batter, after the second batter didn't get a hit, that put the pressure on the third hitter, and he made sure there. He just dipped and drove the ball, got it out there. So they're on the board at three to one. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it really is. You wanna you wanna show the other team that you know you're not gonna roll over and that it's gonna be a ball game. Because once they get free swinging, and I say this all the time, some of you who followed us at Forest Park know that you want to maintain that contact. You don't want the other team to think the game is over or that you're done. So fourth place hitter grounds out. So Jeff Hernandez, two plays up the middle of that inning. We go to the top of the second, three to one and march. We're back. Top of the second, three to one march. March came out, scored three. Budweiser got a leadoff triple by number 27. They scored them three to one. Leading off, Danny Villarreal. Danny hits the ball hard down the third baseline. That's into the corner. Uh, the left fielder got it in quick. Again, they got four outfielders, so in a three-man outfield, that probably would have been a double, but with the four-man outfielder, he was... Already near the line, so he got it in quickly. So leadoff single. 
And there's a ground ball base hit by Sean Gersich, who got the start and all. They, they overthrow second base, and Sean scoots in the second. Again, he didn't give up on the play, kids. He ran down the line. He took the turn. He saw the throw was going to be uh, over the short center, uh, the shortstop who was at second, and he just cruised into se second base. So that's a good piece of base running. Now here's Jeff Hernandez. We saw him in the first game, early in the game, just hit about a little two hopper to second to get get a run in, and he goes that way again. Good piece of hitting. So March plates their fourth run, and they move the guy over to third. Again, you know, the, the overthrow on a routine hit allowed Gersich to go to second, and now he's at third with one out. And little B hits a long ball. That's trouble. He beats the left center fielder to the wall. Little B, who can fly, isn't even running that hard. Man, that kid can scoot. He ran hard to about second base, and then kind of shut it down I mean so that's a two run homer right there March plates another three spot and they go up six to one again March can do a lot of things they 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 got a lot of guys that are versatile hitters they can they can throw it in front of you if you play them deep if you play them short they can go hard and we've seen that they've really, really been, even with the four outfielders, they're hitting gaps, and right now they're clicking on all cylinders. Six to one here, top of the second. But you gotta give uh, Budweiser, Sonoma, Nissan a lot of credit. They came into this tournament, they've, they've played in, and Angelo, oh! Fantastic catch by the right center fielder, Robin Angelo of a hit. Getting back to my point, uh, they've come here, they've represented themselves real well. They've gone to the tournaments out in Yuma and other places in Arizona, and they've done pretty well. They've beaten Chicago teams and beat a really good March team in the winner's bracket championship. So they're, they're doing uh, very well. But right now, March is like a buzzsaw. They're really clicking. Six to one here. And Scotty Erdecki hits a high fly ball. The left center fielder is there. And he makes the catch to end the, well, not end the inning, second out, excuse me. Bring up Mike Manzella. Apparently, there's some confusion. Neither team knew how many outs there were. So we're going to go to the bottom of the sixth. March clicking on all cylinders. We'll be and right we're back. back. So we're heading now into the bottom of the second. Uh, sorry for the delay there. We had to switch out the battery. So Nissan, Budweiser, Nissan, Sonoma. First two guys are on base. March up. I believe it's either six or seven to one. And there's a ball that gets through, so Budweiser, oh, Angelo, Alicia, the ball got by, oh, and Little B picked it up, and it slipped out of his hand. So Budweiser comes back with a two spot, and they got a guy at third with nobody out. So Budweiser, they're not going to go quiet. They're punching back here. Two runs in, nobody out, man, on third. Again, you're hitting the ball so good. You want this this big lefty here for Budweiser. You'd like to see him get a hit if you're a Budweiser fan because you really need to string an inning together. But they crawl back into the game here now. I believe it's, I want to say 6-3. to three. And there's a ball the opposite way. Nate Mercado, he can't get to it. That ball rolled all the way to the corner. And, oh, they're going to send them. Oh, the ball took a, it looked, it looked like he was going to be out, but 
the throw from really was a short throw, but it short hopped the catcher, Scott Herdecki, and it bounced up and hit him off the shoulder, so the run ended up scoring. So that'll be a two-run homer. So now Budweiser has put a four spot up, and it's now, I believe, six to five. And there's another base hit. Again, we're not in the outfield, but we've seen a couple of the outfielders and the might be a little dew out there on the grass, but. So Budweiser right now, this is the best uh, inning they've had in, the, uh, in either of these two games. And there's a hard ball, Angelo Alicia on the run. He can't get to it. Angelo Alicia couldn't get to that ball. It'll go as a double. 23 was taking the turn. Again, there's nobody out here. So you don't want to make an out at home plate. And now Ron Kubicki is going to go out and try to settle things down a little bit. I believe it's 6-5 to five here. And now Scotty Urdecki, the catcher, is going to go out to the outfield. Again, Angelo uh, in his 50s. And so Scotty, a very good outfielder himself, uh, had, had some calf issues this summer. So I think uh, March was trying to not have to put him out there. So again, now what we're seeing is the calf problem and shoulder injury to Alex Smith coming into play here now as March's outfield um, a little bit different than it would have been if those two kids were healthy. And 27, the leadoff man, hits a ball. Nate Mercado makes the catch. That's going to play another run. So beginning here by, by Budweiser to get back into this ball game. And We'll see how March reacts in their half of the inning. Now they're going to run for the guy at second base. One out only here, so Budweiser has a guy at second. The runner at first tagged him, I believe, went to... No, actually, he did not tag. He was already there. The number 30 is up, the two-hitter. One out, and there's a ground ball. And Anthony Avila, little bobble, and that ball slipped out of his hand. So, we've seen a couple of uh, March guys have a little trouble uh, with the ball once they've fielded it. It's about the second or third ball, at least the second in this inning, that slipped out of their, out of their hand. Again, it's a little cooler out now. So a lot of these guys don't have the moisture on their hands. And there's a big swing. There's a little bloop. And that's going to stop. So there was a little blue pit that fell in, and that played it a run. So this is a huge game for Budweiser. They came out here now, and now they seem like they get, got a little pep in their step. And there's another little flare. Sean Gearsich gets there. Again, one out. The you don't, he didn't want to make the last out at home. So, between the microphone, again, folks, we had a little issue there. So, we'll get you the correct score at the end of this half inning. But Budweiser, I believe, is taking the lead here. And, again, they now, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but 
now everybody in their dugout is standing, and now they seem like they're they're all kind of back into the ball game here. And there's a swing and another little flare. Sean Gearsich, he can't catch it. It goes off of his glove. So Bud Sonoma Nissan picks up another run on a flare. So they've hit some balls hard, but they've also hit a couple of bloops that have fallen in. So they're having a pretty good inning right now. I believe they've taken the lead. And there's another rocket. Scotty Erdecki's there, and oh, he makes the catch. That ball, it might have been a knuckleball or it might have had some crazy spin. Like we'll the leadoff guy for March here in the bottom of the six has gotten on 11 to 10 ball game. And that brings up uh, Brian Blackwell Jr., Little B. And Little B hits a ground ball through the hole. So March, after Sean Gearsich let off the inning with a hit, Little B hits a hard ground ball again. Um, that you got to play him so tight that as an infielder, you don't have really much time to react and get to the ball. So when you can run like that, you just create all kinds of issues for the defense. That brings up Angelo Alicia. Right now, if you're March, you're looking to tack on because as uh, my good friend Lane Neiman, you guys have heard me say this a few times, but Lane uh, always preached when he had the Rockers and when he helped me with Mudville that one equals two. So every run you get, they got to get two to beat you. And right now it's a one-run game. So these are huge runs here for Budweiser. They need to figure a way. And uh, there's Angelo Alicia. We talked about how he's very patient. And he walks. Now the bases are loaded. Scott Herdecki is up. Now, his last time Scott came up and they had a guy on third, he had a rocket right at the third baseman. So I know Scott's going to try, you know, to make sure that he doesn't, uh, you know, either elevate the ball or put it in a spot where they can't get it. And you see there, he just, he just kind of made sure he elevated. Little B jogs in, and there's a fumble. And little B turns on the Jets and he scores. So routine sacrifice fly to center. Again, that's the second time this game that we've seen them have some issues throwing the ball in from the outfield and securing the ball. So again, little B took the turn. He made sure he'd look back to the infield. And as soon as he saw the ball go off the kid's glove, he turned it on and scored. Angelo, who tagged up, then went, then went to second. So two runs there, two runs there for March. So they extend the lead to 13 to 10. We go to the top of the seventh. We'll be back. And we're back. Top of the seventh here. Do or dive for Budweiser. Down a three spot. So March, that was a big bottom of the sixth there. They came out, and they got a couple of guys on, and they picked up two runs, and they extended the lead. And as a result of that now, uh, Sonoma, Budweiser, Sonoma, Nissan got a little work to do. And the leadoff guy swings, and he hits a pop-up. Sean Gearsich puts that away. And one out, so... Budweiser down to their last two outs here. So these teams have played three games against each other. Budweiser won a tight one. March won a lopsided game. And now this is a close one right here. Little B jogs over. Two outs now. So now Budweiser down to their last out. Again, this is the, I believe this is the 10th place hitter. So those, those two runs in the bottom of the sixth. Oh, there's a line drive off the pitcher's glove. Danny Villarreal comes in. And, oh, the ball gets away from Israel Sanchez. The, the throw kind of took the Izzy off the bag a little bit toward the runner. And 
So Budweiser has life. They need one more base runner. Now they're at their top. So I think if 27, the leadoff man, can get a hit to extend this inning, then Budweiser may, you know, th those two runs in the bottom of the six took a little air out of him. It looked like at the start, but the 10th place hitter did his job. He put it on the next guy, and there's a rocket. So Budweiser right now with two outs they put on a couple of runners so they got the tie in the batter's box with two outs so now if you're march you're probably going to play your outfield a little deeper you're not going to want to take a chance of this guy hitting something over your head so budweiser with two outs here trying to mount a rally down three if game for the 2017 Las Vegas Big Ball Tournament put on by the SSA of Las Vegas. And he pops the ball foul out of play. So again, you got Scotty Herdecki in right field, Little B in center, and Nate Mercado, the shortstop, due to some couple of cramps and an injury out there in left field. So again, the ball went out of play. They they rotated a new ball in there, and so here's number thirty. He swings the ground ball again, deflected by Jibs over to first, and March Manufacturing has won the 2017 Big Ball Tournament here in Las Vegas. So we'll have the video for you guys uh, coming up uh, this week on the SSA YouTube channel. And terrific championship game. So for SSA Broadcast, Geo signing off with my cameraman, Tyler. And we'll catch you soon. Okay, Seth, sorry you. about the microphone. The pitcher had a little problem there. It looked like with a contact. And there's Nate Mercado leading off with a hit. So we all got kind of fooled. We all thought it was the seventh inning there, but apparently it was not. I have a feeling that was the bottom of the sixth. So here we go. Dave Winslow now up. He came in for Anthony Avila a couple of innings ago. <laughs> and Dave runs a ball through the shortstop hole. So we've seen a few lefties on March go through that hole. And again, uh, it's it's pretty big due to the fact that Budweiser's playing with the four outfielders. So you get these guys with the good back control, and it's, uh, it's kind of like stealing. That'll bring up Israel Sanchez. Again, if you're Sonoma, you're down three. You really, you got to find a way to get out. And Israel drives the ball to right, and... So Israel drove that ball deep enough and right that both runners tagged. So with one out, that's a that's a real nice job of hitting. Again, every run you get makes it tougher. So that'll bring up Denny Lawler. Now his job is you're up three. You want to get at least one of these runs in. And Denny does the same thing. He makes sure he elevates the ball. Dave Winslow running hard. Again, we've seen a couple of bobbles on throws in from the outfield. So, again, he got the third. He took a look over his shoulder. 14 to 10. March. It brings up Danny Villarreal now with two outs. At this point with that guy on third, obviously Danny trying to get a hit, but it opens up the field for him, and he can basically try to do you know, whatever he wants at this point to try to get on base and, and drive this run in. 14 to 10. And Danny swings, and he hits it through the shortstop hole. 
again, last game when they went to the four outfielders, March had a big lead and they were free swinging and driving the ball. But this game they've been taking advantage of the holes on the infield. Brings up Sean Gearsich. And Sean did the same thing he did last time up. He just pounded the ball through the open hole in the middle. So you can see here, March have been pretty good. They've been executing. They've been moving guys. They've been taking advantage of uh, opportunities to take extra bases. And again, it's really hard because a lot of these guys know how to cut and push, and they got great back control. So when you give them these holes on the infield, you know, they can, they can punch it through when they have to. So they extend their lead to, I believe, 15 to 10 now. And Jeff Hernandez, hard ball, pitcher knocked it down. So at the end of, I believe, six and a half, it's uh, March 15 and Budweiser 10. We'll be back. Okay, so we're back in the top of the fifth. And 11 to 8, March in the championship game here. Again, March lost to Budweiser in the winner's bracket championship. They beat the Psychopaths to get back to the championship. And then March beat Budweiser to force the if game. So there's a hard ground ball on the infield uh, deflected by the pitcher in the no man's land. And Budweiser has the leadoff guy on. And now they're at the top of their lineup. So that's a big hit there by by the 10th hitter, and now they're bringing in a runner for him, and they're at the top of their lineup now. Down three, top of the fifth. What we've seen here in Ronnie's tournament are, there are some, some good, real good players out, out there I know you guys in Chicago, oh my. So that is the second time this game that Budweiser has gotten a leadoff man on and the next hitter has grounded the ball directly up the middle for a double play. So that's not good execution. Again, uh, he was you know, clearly trying to drive a gap there, but you got to kind of sit and make sure in those situations. And there's a hard line drive. Denny Lawler snags it. So we'll go with the bottom of the five with March leading 11 to 8. We'll and back. we're back. Bottom of the seventh for sure this time. 15 to 10 March. So a big couple of runs that last inning. That makes a big di a difference when you get five run lead versus a three. So we'll see how Budweiser responds. They've been hanging in there tough this game. And there's a pop-up. Danny Lawler cruises over. Next to catch right in front of us. One out. So you can see when they were in the middle of that seven-run inning, um, the Budweiser guys were standing to the ball game. But now that they're down five here, it, uh, those last two runs m m might have sucked the last bit of oxygen out of them. So we'll see what happens here. Two strikes on the hitter, one out. He swings and he floats it out to center. Little B cruises in, <coughs> two outs. So this is the tenth place. This is the tenth place hitter for Budweiser. Leadoff man on deck, down five. So they're down to their last bullet here. Again, that two spot in the top of the seventh 
Looked like it was a killer. Little B can't make the catch. Ball skips past them. And he cruises in. Again, we made the comment earlier. The bottom of the Budweiser lineup has done a good job of trying to rotate to the top of the order. So two outs. Again, if you're March, you're chasing out, so you don't really care about a base runner. And there's a fly ball to Scotty, and March wins the 2017 Las Vegas Big Ball Tournament. So on behalf of the SSA, I'd like to thank uh, the people here in Las Vegas, all the teams for coming out, and fantastic job by Ron Matriciano, who put this thing together. And we will be putting this video out very shortly, and we'll talk to you soon. So here we go, top of the six, 11-8, March beating Budweiser, Sonoma, Nissan. Last two innings of the tournament here, unless they go extra innings, and then if they do, we use what's called, we're using what's called the California rule for this tournament, which is if we get to the eighth, there's a hard ground ball. Dave Winslow, who came in for Anthony Avila, makes the play first out of the inning. California rule, you take the last out in the seventh and then you put that batter at second base and then you proceed to play the inning after that, uh, you know, regular three outs. So a little bit different when you got the double elimination tournament one day just to kind of move things along. But right now March leading 11 to 8, one out top of the six. Again, after that early flurry, the game kind of settling back down. Neither team has scored the last couple innings here in this ball game. And there's a line drive through the shortstop hole. So Budweiser with one out gets a base runner. We've seen a lot of balls hit really hard. There's, there's a lot of people starting to play more and more 16-inch softball around the country. And there's a long ball. So there's a long ball into the left field corner. Nate Mercado couldn't get there. So it's a stand-up triple, 11 to 9, <coughs> with one out. So the bottom of the Budweiser order has done their job. They, they're, they're getting to the top with uh, guys on base. And... Uh, well, actually, I don't know if this is. It's 29. I thought it was 27. But Budweiser now creeping back into the ball game at 11 to 9. One out. Top of the sixth. So if you're Budweiser, you, you know, you'd like to get a hit, but you, you have to score this run at all, all costs. Okay, so he hits a hard ground ball to short. Again, March taking the out. Uh, they were not playing in, so Danny Villarreal just picked it up and pitch and catch with Izzy Sanchez, the runner at third, jogged in. We got ourselves an 11-10 ball game. So at 11 to 10, every hitter is really dangerous because you've got the tie in the box. So top of the sixth again. There's a ground ball, and Jeff Hernandez snags that. So Budweiser scores a pair to tighten the game up. We head to the bottom of the sixth. We'll be back. Like the leadoff guy for March here in the bottom of the sixth has gotten on 11 to 10 ball game. And that brings up uh, Brian Blackwell Jr., Little B. And Little B hits a ground ball through the hole. So March, after Sean Gersich let off the inning with a hit, Little B hits a hard ground ball again. Um, but you got to play him so tight that as an infielder, 
you don't have really much time to react and get to the ball. So when you can run like that, you just create all kinds of issues for the defense. That brings up Angelo Alicia. Right now, if you're March, you're looking to tack on because as uh, my good friend Lane Neiman, you guys have heard me say this a few times, but Lane uh, always preached when he had the Rockers and when he helped me with Mudville that one equals two. So every run you get, they got to get two to beat you. And right now it's a one-run game. So these are huge runs here for Budweiser. They need to figure a way. And uh, there's Angelo Alicia. We talked about how he's very patient. And he walks. Now the bases are loaded. Scott Herdecki is up. Now his last time Scott came up and there he had a guy on third. He had a rocket right at the third baseman. So I know Scott's going to try, you know, to make sure that he doesn't, uh, you know, either elevate the ball or put it in a spot where they can't get it. And you see there, he just, he just kind of made sure he elevated. Little B jogs in, and there's a fumble. And Little B turns on the Jets, and he scores. So routine sacrifice fly to center. Again, that's the second time this game that we've seen them have some issues throwing the ball in from the outfield and securing the ball. So again, Little B took the turn. He made sure he'd look back to the infield, and as soon as he saw the ball go off the kid's glove, he turned it on and scored. Angelo, who tagged up, then went, then went to second. So two runs there, two runs there for March. So they extend the lead to 13 to 10. We go to the top of the seventh. We'll be back. And we're back. Top of the seventh here. Do or dive for Budweiser. Down a three spot. So March, that was a big bottom of the sixth there. They came out and they got a couple of guys on. And they picked up two runs and they extended the lead. And as a result of that now, uh, Sonoma, Budweiser, Sonoma, Nissan got a little work to do. And the leadoff guy swings and he hits a pop-up. Sean... Gearsich puts that away. And one out. So Budweiser down to their last two outs here. So these teams have played three games against each other. Budweiser won a tight one. March won a lopsided game. And now this is a close one right here. Little B jogs over. Two outs now. So now Budweiser down to their last out. Again, this is the, I believe this is the 10th place hitter. So those, those two runs in the bottom of the sixth. Oh, there's a line drive off the pitcher's glove. Danny Villarreal comes in. And, oh, the ball gets away from Israel Sanchez. The, the throw kind of took the... Izzy off the bag a little bit toward the runner, and so Budweiser has life. They need one more base runner. Now they're at their top. So I think if 27, the leadoff man, can get a hit to extend this inning, then Budweiser may, you know, th those two runs in the bottom of the six took a little air out of him it looked like at the start but the 10th place hitter did his job he put it on the next guy and there's a rocket so Budweiser right now with two outs they put on a couple of runners so they got the tie in the batter's box with two outs so now if you're March you're probably going to play your outfield a little deeper you're not going to want to take a chance of this guy hitting something over your head So Budweiser with two outs here, trying to mount a rally, down three. If game for the 2017 Las Vegas Big Ball Tournament put on by the SSA of Las Vegas. And he pops the ball foul out of play. 
So again, you got Scotty Herdecki in right field, Little B in center, and Nate Mercado, the shortstop, due to some couple of cramps and an injury out there in left field. So again, the ball went out of play. They they rotated a new ball in there and So here's number 30. He swings the ground ball again, deflected by Jibs over to first, and March Manufacturing has won the 2017 Big Ball Tournament here in Las Vegas. So we'll have the video for you guys uh, coming up uh, this week on the SSA YouTube channel, and terrific championship game. So for SSA broadcast, Geo signing off with my cameraman Tyler, and we'll catch you soon. Thank you. Like I said, sorry about the microphone. The pitcher had a little problem there. It looked like with a contact. And there's Nate Mercado leading off with a hit. So we all got kind of fooled. We all thought it was the seventh inning there, but apparently it was not. <laughs> I have a feeling that was the bottom of the sixth. So here we go. Dave Winslow now up. He came in for Anthony Avila a couple of innings ago. <laughs> and Dave runs the ball through the shortstop hole. So we've seen a few lefties on March go through that hole. And again, uh, it's it's pretty big due to the fact that Budweiser's playing with the four outfielders. So you get these guys with the good back control, and it's, uh, it's kind of like stealing. That'll bring up Israel Sanchez. Again, if you're Sonoma, you're down three. You really, you got to find a way to get out. And Israel drives the ball to right, and... So Israel drove that ball deep enough and right that both runners tagged. So with one out, that's a that's a real nice job of hitting. Again, every run you get makes it tougher. So that'll bring up Denny Lawler. Now his job is you're up three. You want to get at least one of these runs in. And Denny does the same thing. He makes sure he elevates the ball. Dave Winslow running hard. Again, we've seen a couple of bobbles on throws in from the outfield. So, again, he got the third. He took a look over his shoulder. 14 to 10. March. It brings up Danny Villarreal now with two outs. At this point with that guy on third, obviously Danny trying to get a hit, but it opens up the field for him, and he can basically try to do you know, whatever he wants at this point to try to get on base and, and drive this run in. 14 to 10. And Danny swings, and he hits it through the shortstop hole. Again, last game when they went to the four outfielders, March had a big lead, and they were free swinging and driving the ball. But this game they've been taking advantage of the holes on the infield. Brings up Sean Gearsich. And Sean did the same thing he did last time up. He just pounded the ball through the open hole in the middle. So you can see here, March have been pretty good. They've been executing. They've been moving guys. They've been taking advantage of uh, opportunities to take extra bases. And again, it's really hard because a lot of these guys know how to cut and push and they got great back control so when you give them these holes on the infield you know they can they can punch it through when they have to so they extend their lead to I believe 15 to 10 now And Jeff Fernandez, hard ball, pitcher knocked it down. So at the end of, I believe, six and a half, 
It's uh, March 15 and Budweiser 10. We'll be back. And we're back. Bottom of the 7th, for sure this time. 15 to 10 March. So a big couple of runs at last inning. That makes a big di a difference when you get five run lead versus a three. So we'll see how Budweiser responds. They've been hanging in there tough this game. And there's a pop-up. Denny Lawler cruises over. Next to catch right in front of us. One out. So you can see when they were in the middle of that seven-run inning, um, the Budweiser guys were standing to the ball game. But now that they're down five here, it, uh, those last two runs m m might have sucked the last bit of oxygen out of them. So we'll see what happens here. Two strikes on the hitter, one out. He swings and he floats it out to center. Little B cruises in, <coughs> two outs. So this is the tenth place. This is the tenth place hitter for Budweiser. Leadoff man on deck, down five. So they're down to their last bullet here. Again, that two spot in the top of the seventh. Looked like it was a killer. Little B can't make the catch. Ball skips past them. And he cruises in. Again, we made the comment earlier. The bottom of the Budweiser lineup has done a good job of trying to rotate to the top of the order. So two outs. Again, if you're March, you're chasing out, so you don't really care about a base runner. And there's a fly ball to Scotty, and March wins the 2017 Las Vegas Big Ball Tournament. So on behalf of the SSA, I'd like to thank uh, the people here in Las Vegas, all the teams for coming out, and fantastic job by Ron Matriciano, who put this thing together, and we will be putting this video out very shortly, and we'll talk to you soon.